This could be the future of home coffee. This is Xbloom, a brand new product from a brand new company that has chosen to go head to head with convenience focused brands like Keurig and Nespresso. And today, I'm going to show you why they just might succeed. Before we get going, I do have one disclaimer. This is a prototype unit, and as always when I deal with prototypes, there might be some small tiny differences between this unit and the one that is eventually for sale. In this case, what you see is going to be very similar to the final Xbloom, with a few final bug fixes and tweaks as suggested by early testers. This project just went live today on Kickstarter, so if you're watching this video, it is now available to check out and purchase. Another thing I would like to mention is that this is not a sponsored video in any way. Xbloom reached out for some pre-production advice, some input, some testing, and I jumped at that opportunity, as well as the opportunity to give you guys an early look. Now, the first thing that we need to immediately get out of the way is that this is not really a pod coffee machine. And I think that Xbloom has a very large fight ahead of them in proving to the world that is the case. Because to the untrained eye, that is a pod and this is a pod coffee machine, and people are going to immediately judge it on that alone. Now that would be a very, very big mistake, and before I explain why that's the case, let's start off as we always do, with the build quality and design. I think that Xbloom have knocked this thing out of the park in terms of both the look and build quality at its price point. It looks modern, simple, and takes up very little counter real estate. The outer build is a mixture of plastic and metal, but what really impressed me was the extra step up in part quality on areas that you interact with. This is a beautiful part. The engineers at Xbloom clearly understand the concept of investing more money into high touch point areas and having a system that looks as good as it functions, which isn't necessarily surprising as the last job these engineers had was designing products for a small tech company that rhymes with Snapple. All jokes aside, this is a very good looking and a very well built machine that I would have absolutely no problem putting on my own kitchen counter. However, looks and build quality alone are not enough to beat the likes of Nespresso and Keurig. What actually makes this thing special? Well, like I said, I don't consider this to be a pod coffee system. Here's what I mean by that. Pod coffee machines like Keurig and Nespresso use tiny doses of pre-ground coffee. They brew that tiny dose with an arbitrary amount of water depending on the drink size you pick and generally operate at one standard temperature. If you enjoy drinking coffee like this, do not take this as a personal attack. Drink coffee however you like, but do recognize that there are some limitations in brewing with a one size fits all system like that. In comparison, Xbloom uses a full 15 gram dose of whole beans. It grinds them fresh and uses the biodegradable pod as a flat bottomed pour over dripper. These differences alone are a huge step up in terms of quality. Grinding fresh using a good quality burr grinder and a more traditional brewer are upgrades that cannot be understated. However, Xbloom's grand vision for this system does not stop there. When you start grinding your own beans and using a more traditional brewer, there is some dialing in of each bean that is required or in other words, experimenting to find the right grind setting, the right brewing temperature, and the right ratio of grounds to water. These parameters can change drastically from coffee to coffee, and this is a big hurdle to making good coffee at home. You need to taste, experiment, and learn. Xbloom are solving this last mile problem of brewing specialty coffee at home by leaving this critical dialing in step in the hands of the people that know each coffee best, the roasters. Each pod has an RFID tag that has been programmed to execute the exact grind size, temperature, and brew recipe they want, so that your cup tastes exactly like they intended, and they know that it will because they dialed it in on this exact same system. Now you might be thinking that this is some kind of Kickstarter pipe dream, but it's not. 
Scott Rayo is sitting on Xbloom's coffee advisory board. YouTube's very own Brian Kwan is in charge of roastery partnerships, and he's already signed on huge names like Onyx Coffee Lab and Verve. This is happening. This concept is real. But in order for Xbloom to convince huge names like Onyx to jump on board, they first had to convince them that this system could replicate and reproduce and do justice to their product. And that is a huge vote of confidence from the specialty coffee industry. To do this, they developed a unique pouring mechanism so that the roasters can pour like they would with a kettle, controlling agitation through three different pouring patterns. They can also add shaking steps to help settle the grounds into a nice even bed. Essentially, this machine is trying to brew as closely as possible to how the barista would by hand if they were standing right in front of you. And the result of this is pretty awesome. They use a good quality 48 millimeter burr set, they use a flat bottom brewer, and they can replicate some basic pouring techniques. Brewing side by side with the X-Bloom versus my K-Max grinder and fellow dripper, I was able to achieve very similar results. I could easily match recipes even when checking for TDS with a refractometer, which is to say that you can get a very respectable coffee out of a pod at the push of a button. It's crazy. Yes, there might be some limitations with the slightly undersized form factor of the dripper, but I don't think this is something we need to worry about for a product in this category. The roasters will tweak their recipes to account for this. One big caveat to these coffee impressions, and something that Xbloom is gonna have to manage with their customers, is water. Which water you use with your coffee brewing system can have a huge impact on the final product, even when all other parameters are kept the same. If people start using very hard water or God forbid distilled water in this system, it is going to taste different than the roaster intended and they might not be happy. I think Xbloom would be smart to pick a coffee water mix such as third wave water or perfect coffee water and partner with them to really iron out this final variable in the brewing process. Moving on to user experience, the Xbloom is a very easy machine to live with, but I did also find some negatives in my time with it. However, let's start with the positives. Like many aspects of this machine, the workflow and convenience features are very well thought out. Tap your pod, pour in the beans, and then press down on the brewing cradle to start. The machine will then take it from there, changing settings as needed, moving the brewer over to under the grinder, grinding, moving back, and then completing the brew. Pretty slick, and the fact that it's completely hands-free makes a drink quality even more impressive. Another example of Xbloom's attention to detail is the inclusion of an airflow vent behind the pouring spout. This lightly blows away any steam so that it doesn't condense on the underside of the machine and start dripping. The brewing cradle also has a built-in scale that it uses to monitor the brewing process and pause if the pod ever gets too full. Now onto the stuff that I didn't like quite so much. The very slim profile of this machine means that the water tank is quite small. You'll likely only get two drinks before it will prompt you to refill. For a machine that is 100% pour over focused, I would have hoped for a larger capacity. The brewing process did also have a tendency to get a little splashy at times. Now, like I said, this is a prototype and they said this is something that they are actively working on. However, with an open system and a pour over style brewer, I feel like some splashing is somewhat inevitable. This is not a deal breaker, but it's definitely something to note. Overall though, in case you couldn't tell, I am extremely impressed with the X-Bloom system. Although I think that they have a slightly uphill battle in convincing the world that this is not just another pod machine, I think that if they do and if they find the right market, this has the potential to be an extremely big success. They started off with some clever engineering and ideas, but were smart enough to not stop there. They sought out experts in the specialty coffee field and were very receptive and quick to implementing their feedback. The result is pretty much the perfect system for someone who wants to experience specialty coffee at home, as the roaster intended, but does not want the hassle or waste associated with learning to dial in coffees. 
I think that this has the potential to be an extremely neat tool for exploring multiple different coffees or even bringing new people into the specialty coffee space. And I am very excited to see where it goes from here. If you are too, then like I said, this machine is now available. You can check it out at the link in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like and even consider subscribing if you would like to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.